Hey everyone, it's just me. I just wanted to do one more quick video. Um, I am still sick. This is being recorded right after my top 10 spring nail polish videos. So that is why I look exactly the same and sound just as bad. Um, I just have 10 quick lipsticks that I want to share with you that are going to be my spring picks. Uh, not necessarily springy colors, um, but more like colors I shall, I shall be wearing this spring on my face. So to start, I will show you my new favorite lipstick. It is one of the NYX uh, matte lipsticks. They come in a tube just like this. And it is called Indie Flick. Um, I saw a swatch of it online when I was uh, perusing swatches of these because I was interested in more matte lipstick. So it is just um, a nice red lipstick that leans orange instead of blue. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's this one right here. Ignore these right here, but um, it's this color right here. It's somewhat orangey. I don't know. It doesn't... I feel like it's not showing up necessarily the exact same as it, it does in real life on camera. But um, it's a nice uh, red. I will be wearing that tons this spring. Next is my number one most favorite OCC lip tar. And if you know me or if you read my blog, you already know. That it is grandma! It's like the perfect coral my lips but better but still wearing lipstick. You know how you might want a lipstick that's similar to your lip color but you want it a little different? That's what this is. It works well with my skin tone and um, I think it would work well with almost everyone's skin tone. It's like a universally flattering shade. The corals are just like um, with blushes. So I would say if you have, I think they're $14 now, pick it up. It will last you forever. You only use a tiny, 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 tiny little bit. And it goes a long way and it will stay on your lips all day. It will not cause a problem. It's absolutely amazing. So this is what Grandma looks like. It looks more pink, I think. I don't know. It's, it's slightly more orange than this. It's very coral. Um, and here's the swatch of that for you. It's this and you can see, um, that it's coral. It's obviously, it's a very pretty color that looks great on everybody. Um, duh, can you see it good? I don't want the, the shine from the window to ruin it. So as you can see, these are two somewhat orange, pinky reds. Um, since uh, Tangerine Tango is the color for spring, I thought I would pull out some things that have like the orange tones to them to start. The next one is something I just bought. Uh, well, I didn't just buy it, but it, it's a recent purchase. Um, I haven't put any swatches of this on my blog yet, so this is the first time you'll be seeing this from me. Um, it is Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stain and Balm in Passion. And it's just one of these little uh, pencils. Well, it's not a pencil, it's a marker. See that tip? Um, I haven't used the gloss on it, obviously, because I didn't finish taking off the packaging. Because I, like, busted every nail while I was trying to do it. And this pink right here is just a swatch of it on my skin. I swatched them. I bought two of them. I bought in Gothic and in Passion, and I swatched them a couple days ago, and they are still on my, fing on my finger, on my hand. So you can see they last forever. So this is the lip stain. I think it's a nice uh, pink that may look, might look good on a lot of people's skin tones. Next. <laughs> Excuse me. I have the hiccups. It's another OCC lip tar. Um, I really like a bright lip. If you couldn't tell, it's kind of my thing. So, this is OCC lip tar in Harlot, which is a somewhat pinky red. They, I think they describe it as like a, a cherry red, which I think is probably a spot on description of that red. It's very bright as well. And this right here it's a swatch of it. As you can see, it's much more red than these two because they're the orangey reds. This is more of a, a real red or a blue toned red, I would say. So that's the lip tar. Next is my first ever NARS lipstick that I bought. Um, I bought it solely because of the name, which is really stupid for the price there, but I loved it. So it's okay. It is Barbarella. It is a sheer peachy color, which is going along with the orange um, trend for spring. I tried to keep some of these on trend, you know, neons, oranges. Um, so this is what it looks like. It smells really good too. I, I can't smell anything. My nose is stuffed up. Um, but 
I don't know what it is that they put in it. It's kind of maybe peachy smelling. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's it's sheer. And I think that almost everybody, no matter what your age or skin tone, could pull this color off right here. Uh, get rid of the shine. Uh, there we go. So that's what it looks like. It's a nice sheer peach color. And I really love it. I wore it out a couple times. It's like a My Lips But Better color again. Like, if you don't want to wear a bright color, but you want to add a little bit of an orange tint to it because it's on trend, then that's what I would suggest. This is the next color. It is my first and only Elamasca. I don't know how you say it. That's how I'm going to say it. Uh, lipstick. It is in Scandal. Um, this is Scandal. It actually looks different on the skin to me than it does inside here. It's not a bad thing. It's just not what I expected. It like It's like a little darker on your skin because this right here is the swatch of Scandal. Um, and if you see it, I don't know, maybe it'll show you that there's indeed a difference between them. Like, see how it looks pinker? Oh, maybe it does look very similar. I don't know, I felt like this looked lighter on the skin. It looks dustier in the swatch. Maybe I'm just crazy. So we'll forget about that. Well, that's the next color because it's new and I like it and it's bright but not too bright. So you can wear it if you want to wear a bright pink, but like a neon pink is too insane for you. Um, next is the NYX, I think they're the round lipsticks. These ones. I don't think they're anything fancy. I think they're the cheapest ones they make. And this is in the color Stella. And it is a nice corally pink with, I think it's blue shimmer in it. And it looks just like this. I don't know if you can catch the shimmer. It's, I think I prefer matte lipsticks to these shimmery ones. But I just thought this would be a nice fun summer color. And uh, this right here is it. I don't think it's going to pick up the few uh, blue like pieces of glitter that are in it. But it, it's a nice, it's somewhat sheer pink, so then again, everyone can wear it. Um, it's not intense, you can wear it to work, you can wear it out. Um, you don't have to feel self-conscious necessarily of it, because if you wear a bright color and it like gets on your teeth, it's easier to notice. If it doesn't stay on your lips and it starts to feather out, it's more easy to notice. So if you want sheer, especially because some places it gets really hot in the spring, I would say that a sheer lipstick would feel more like a lip gloss or a lip balm or a lip butter instead of like a heavy matte lipstick, but it's entirely up to you and your preference of how you like things. <clears throat> Next I want to throw in two indie brands because they don't get a lot of representation and I wanted to mix them in with a bunch of higher end brands, um, medium end brands, I don't know, just I wanted to have a full spectrum of stuff. So the next one is from Darling Girl. It is a Liquid Kiss Luxe. It is in Coraline. And the person who makes these is adorably sweet. She's very nice and she has some awesome colors. So please go check out her website. I will put a link in the info box on where to find this. Well, her. Um, I don't know if her new site is up yet. I will have to check. But go buy stuff from her because I like her. And this is, it comes in this kind of tube. It's like the little clicky ones with uh, the brush tip and so this I had to have because I had just finished reading Coraline finally I read it and I was like oh I love this book so much I can't wait to see the movie that I want to buy from Five Below for five dollars um, let me buy this lip color instead because I can't leave the house or I don't know so this middle color right here is Coraline and it is a very pretty color. I think it's very springy looking. It's not too over the top. You can wear that um, basically whenever you want as well. I wanted to have a nice mix of colors, I guess is the word I'm thinking of. Next was a gift I received. Um, Glamour Doll Eyes has a program called OTM. It's like of the month. That's what it stands for. And you get, you pay a fee for either, I think it's like three months or six months of OTMs, which is of the month, and you get I said that twice. You get one color sent to you. So for like January, you get a color in the beginning of the month. You get one for February, March, whatever. And I think this was with the March one. I received like a, a green St. Patrick's type day color. And then Glamour Doll Eyes teamed up with Kiss My Sass Cosmetics, who 
I've seen a lot from, but haven't decided on what I want to purchase from them yet. So this was a really awesome thing they did. And you get a, a lip, you got a full size lip tint from them, along with a full size eyeshadow from Glamour Doll Eyes, which was a really sweet deal, by the way, because I didn't know we were going to get any little gifts or perks. I thought we were just getting like our one special of the month color. So it was really nice to receive a gift. Um, so it is called Georgia Kiss, and this is what it looks like. I would have to say this is very nice, and I feel like is a really close dupe for NARS Barbarella. So if you want to drop, I think it's like $25, maybe more. I feel like it wasn't $30, but it was more than $20 for the lipstick, which gives you like minimal amount of product. I feel like, I lie. Okay, well, I feel like when I was little, lipstick tubes used to come with a lot more lipstick in them. Like they used to be like this long, and they're not like that anymore. I feel like now they're like this big and you pay like $50 million for it, so I feel like it's a rip off. But let me just show you. This is the swatch of the Georgia, George K's. Um, and this right here up here is Barbarella. Now this is slightly more orange or brown tinge. This is slightly more pink. But I bet if it's on your lips, you can't tell the difference. And I would say, I don't know if it's for sale on their site. I don't know if it was a special color. But if they do have it, buy it. Because they are so very similar that you should have one of them. I really think so. Um, and I've heard a lot of good things about Kiss My Sass. I haven't bought from them myself personally. So I would say at least check them out because they have some interesting colors. And my last color in my top 10 lip colors for spring is another OCC Lip Tar because I love them. It is OCC Lip Tar in Strumpet. Sometimes you just need a dark purple lip color in your life and I think that's the best one. It's the best deal and it's a great color that I think almost anyone could wear. I think if you had darker skin, tan skin, pale skin like me, if you were transparent like a zombie, transparent like a zombie, transparent like a ghost, green like a sickly person like I am now. Um, I think it would work with everybody, and that's my thoughts. Everybody can wear this color, and everyone should wear this color. So, um, this is a great color. It's a, a nice wine color. You can see that right there. It's not too dark, say. If you want to wear a vampy purple plum lip color, but you're afraid to go very dark, try this out. OCC Strumpet. I like it. It's great. I should wear it more. So that's what I want to do. I want to wear these colors more this spring. That was my goal. These are going to be my spring colors. I will not only wear these, I will try my best to wear them though, because I think that these would be the best colors for spring between the bright, um, like neonness of some of the colors and the beautiful orange tint to all the other ones and um, I'm gonna put a bunch of info in my box for you to see because in my box I'm gonna put a lot of info down in the info box that they have here because I want you to check out some of these awesome indie websites so buy samples from indie or die that's it <laughs> okay um, I guess that's it I'm I'm making videos. I'm going to go take a nap now. Yes. Bye.